everybody, I'm back with a double daily today, which means it's day seven, 44 minutes in. I have no idea how to figure out how we did yesterday because the videos won't go up for like a day and a bit. Um, but I'll tell you, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. Now, today's daily looks just absurd. Insanity. Random deck of 50 cards, which might actually be 150 cards because of the the way that Hoarder works. It's it's not, thankfully. Um, but right now we have a just a, a smattering, a smorgasbord, a potpourri, if you will, of uh, randomness. I guess I'll just draw this random card. Random! Anyway, what am I talking about? <laughs> it's... I, I basically, yesterday was the exact antithesis of what we have today. Yesterday we knew exactly what we were doing. We picked our deck right off the cut. Today we have no idea. Now if you'll excuse me one moment. Just drop ourselves down there. So that's interesting, and it's it's actually kind of nice because it means that there's some uh, some variance, if you will. It means that there's a chance that uh, that there could be a little bit more movement on today's seed. I can't say that for certain. I'm just offering my assumption. I also have no idea of how we should build. I do love flame barrier though, and I mean the more the merrier. I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. Is it the more the merrier? You're telling me Perfected Strike does 10 damage. It does 10 damage? It's alright. We had Clash. I really, uh, I, I don't know how to build today's daily. Which is fine. I will say, cards that add wounds or days to our draw pile. Probably pretty solid, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, I guess we could have done a Clash there as well. Should have done a Clash there, I think. Regardless, I mean, everything seems to be fine. You saw the scores, I saw the scores. They were very high. Do I really want three Feel No Pains in the deck? You know, I think you could do a lot worse. I do think draw is worth a lot because we, we want to draw our good stuff, but... There is something to be said about that. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to let my son into the room. He's had a hard day. One of the pets, uh, one of the cats peed on the bed. You'll excuse me, sir. Welcome to the office. I know many people have uh, replied to us and been like, "When a cat pees on the bed, it's a health concern." We looked into it. I'm pretty sure that the robot litter box we used was just kind of jacked up, and he was like, "I don't want to do this." <laughs> so he. Uh, he peed in the bed. And don't get me wrong. We'll try this first. I would have rather he didn't. I would have rather he'd spoke to me in English. Right, Ruka? And went, uh, excuse me, sir, just so you know. The litter box has become inhospitable while you're asleep. Could you please handle that? But he's a cat, so instead he just peed on the bed. Thank you for your concern. We're on top of it, is basically what I'm saying. I do. I think Wild Strikes are beautiful in a deck like this. Transform a card. It's a little wonky, and it's going to add three of this to our deck, but I really think we should just transform Perfected Strike because it's garbage. I think it became three Sentinels, which is pretty good. If, if we can do something with it, at least. Right now, we're not doing a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> trying to think, what could we... No, I can't do anything. Well, I'll tell you, Ruka. Getting some perfects here, that's gonna be tough. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Might as well just gain the raw block, I think. I, I don't know how we're gonna get there. I don't know how we're gonna get to early perfects. But I think much of the... Much of the score that we saw from the other players honestly could just be due to uh i think we just do that could just be due to uh 
having so many cards in the deck. Should have tackled this in a different fashion. It's okay, though. We're gonna get you. We just need to draw an attack at some point. This will this will get us there. I also think when you have such a a, a random a headbutt might have been better there actually. I think when you have such a random assortment of cards, you actually do a lot better when you have a, a suite of relics. So I, I mean, this is all always true, but the more relics you have, the the happier we're gonna be. So many sentinels, dude. Well, that's that's our turn one. <laughs> it's not a great start, to be honest with you. Um, so I think we like Sword Boomerang. A little too uh, balanced for my taste there, but we're going to use a Liquid Memories. I mean, why not shoot for the moon, right? Like, oh, hold on. I didn't realize I was so short in the webcam. There we go. Now, now I look like a... An adult human, which is what I am, by the way. Start here. Start with the draw. So many flame barriers, dude. We want to keep the perfect going as long as possible. I, I think it's very optimistic that we will keep it going. I mean, even here you can see we got serious problems, right? But... We really needed more there, but at least we did get one of you taken out. My son, what are you doing? What are you, you, you're getting all crazy up here. And not in a cool way, like, you know, the band. Let me go crazy, crazy on you. Mostly you're just, you're just knocking stuff off. Okay, I like it. I like it. Oh, we got another cat that would like to come in. Oh, do you know I, I fixed and cleaned your litter box today? That's so sweet that you want to come in and... Oh, I love the mom. Okay, that's cute. They wanna they wanna spend time with their father. For me, you gotta go double tap here. Which is actually sex tuple tap. Don't demonetize me, it's the literal name, dude. Tomo. Tomo. Let's go here first. We could have done bloodletting as well. I kinda like the Kind of like the setup here. I could really use a relic that allowed us... Like, Ornamental Fan, I think, would be super nice here. You... Tomo! You want to leave now? You just got here, brother. Oh my god. This is... I apologize for the domestic cat situation. Tomo! Okay, goodbye, my son. You change your mind like a girl changes clothes. Katy Perry. Words to live by. Look at that. Ornamental fan. <laughs> oh, that's right. We can't... Uh, I forgot we can't smith. I really wish we didn't have to rest, but it is what it is. <sighs> Why not? It, it helps us get to more points regardless. It's also obviously like kind of bad. I don't think many people would uh, would dispute that one, but yeah, this is a, this is a weird one. I'll level with you. When I saw the scores, I thought it was like we were totally set. I thought we had nothing to worry about, right? I'm just trying to think of what we even want here. I think a flame barrier. It doesn't quite keep us safe. Oh no, I split you. <laughs> it's the worst possible amount to split you on, but it's okay, it's okay. Hold on. Very nice. Yes. Oh, dude, thank you. Okay, one of those. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Okay, moving on. I don't know. When I saw the scores, I thought today would be a super simple one, and, uh... Well, I'll tell you right out of the gate, it's not... It doesn't seem terrible. I don't mind the double whatever here. Double frailty. I think that, to be honest, to do damage to this guy was more appropriate. Regret. A little spicy. Not really much we can do about that one. I think... 
Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Every time you exhaust the card, you draw a card. Yes, okay, fair enough. Uh, I think we're doing like an exhaust synergy, but it is... It's very weird. It's its very weird so far, and I, I don't dispute that. It's not going to start too great either. Or at least I should say we're going to take damage. Um, coming as a surprise to absolutely no one. For sure. The best thing we could get going on... We gotta kill this guy, of course. The best thing we could get going on... Well, I guess we will not be killing that guy. That, that's gonna hurt. That, that could more than hurt. That could really put a damper on things. Um, the best thing we could get is more energy. That's, like, doubtlessly... That's the next step for us. Uh, I mean, that's very nice. Can't really afford to get away with this one, so let's not. I mean, the more metallicizes we play, the better off we are. Um, the good news is, if we're gonna... We have to rest for 100% anyway, right? So we might as well start with this. And then, sure, why not? My, my new mindset here, why not pop both of these and a flex potion? And just, like, really come over the top quickly here. Would have been nice to have that on the last turn, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that up there. We'll just hit you for eight. You'll get hit for another four. We'll draw Heavy Blade next turn. Then we've only got to find a way to hit you for one. And we can't do it. <laughs> oh, no, we can. We can because we have two strength. There you go. All right. Regal Pillow is, like, quite literally worthless. Um... I do, I, honestly, I think adding the shockwaves to this deck is totally fine. This is a really weird one. I, I don't feel confident at all, to be honest with you, with where we're at right here. I think we should just straight up play the next three cards. I think that was, that was sensible. Getting that blood for blood helped us out a lot. I mean, the perfect is, is exactly, like, it's the only thing that matters right now. Okay, we need to get enough block to stay out in front here. Does it? That won't ruin our perfect to the best of my knowledge. I believe regret doesn't ruin your perfect. Unfortunately, this will ruin our perfect, and there's not a whole lot we can do about it. Except to try to stay out in front like that. So that's okay. I, I, I would probably uh, give up a, our dream of uh perhaps getting to like a 1500 point score because we're not we're not there yet although i will say we got a lot of good stuff going on uh just from the perspective of having so many cards in our hands but so does everybody else doing the daily today including mouth and dan so there's there's a modest degree of spice can't really be too mad about this on it. I'm not even gonna play anger. We don't need to play anger, you know. Oh, Sally can't wait. You know it's too late as she's walking on by. Uh, I forget the rest of it. Something to do with your soul slides away. Don't look back in anger, I heard them say. Something along those lines. All right, good news is we're almost halfway through the deck. I don't really wanna do the synergy here, to be honest. I think I prefer that. That's gonna get us there. Four energy? You might not believe me, and you might think I'm playing a sloppy game. To be honest with you, I would tend to agree right now. Um, but I think that if we get to four energy, the rest of this deck is going to look like a dream. If we don't get the four energy, I think we could lose on the... I think we could lose on the second floor fairly easily, to be honest. Yo, we got there! Very nice. You know, I mean, you don't need me to tell you this. The best things that we could get right now are innate cards. So that we get to ha make sure our first few turns are guaranteed to be great. Certainly, I, I definitely look at three limit breaks as being a path to success. 
And I think it's not even close. Like, I think you just go, Sozu's trash, dude. Now, Elites are, are, are Sozu's is so amazing because potions are relatively trash. We can only fight two Elites on any path. So we will definitely take the path with the early shop. And we're going to buy everything. A little spicy. A little spicy early. Got to start here. I mean, the limit break is not playable, so we just skip it. The, the fourth energy, as long as we have some draw still going on. I'm fortunate, but it doesn't totally get us where we need to go, but it really makes it makes it a lot easier. Let's put it that way. I mean, just that in and of itself. To perfect that is uh that's a real surprise. That's almost you know what? Let's take it. Let's take it because we've never taken it before. And then let's put as many curses in this deck as possible. No longer frail? Very good. Yes, go ahead. We don't need the potions, obviously. What else could we need, though? Uh, the three Mind Blasts? Yeah, the three Mind Blasts seem pretty good. Now, if we could only find a way to smith them. <laughs> and now I'm like, dude, we should use just... Work with me on this one. Take literally everything. I think that, that just won us the game. And I think it. I, I think it, we found the seam. Let's put it that way. So we will just add a card at every opportunity. And uh, considering we have four energy, okay. Now I very much understand how this deck was able to get to the level that it got to um, for everybody. I think that we have now entered ridiculous territory where uh, essentially nothing could possibly stop us from winning on turn one against. Basically every enemy that remains. If this gives us Necronomicon, it's all... Okay, Enchiridion is, is fine, but... It would have been all over if we got... Uh, if we got uh, Necronomicon. So we're just adding cards we know we have copies of. So I, I want to be very, very clear on this one. This win, and, and I do feel confident calling it a win already... This win has essentially zero to do um, with my own ability. Basically, this win is a result of Hoarder plus Insanity. So essentially, I, I almost have to apologize because we didn't just find like Brimstone Mom's Knife. We, we found something, you know, on an even greater level for, within an Isaac context that I can't even like comprehend like literally we just do this <laughs> but i will say if we go as fast as is possible what are we at here 18 minutes if you finish in under 25 minutes you do get another big point bonus and i really think it is a big point bonus so we will try to do that if you're gonna look at this daily i hope everybody else found the same thing we're actually going to go to turn two. Oh my god. Um, I hope everybody else found the same thing. Because sincerely, like... If they didn't, you're going to look at this video and be like, 22 minutes? Wow, he really screwed up today. The answer is, I did not screw up today. Oh hey, we can no longer smith. Oh no. Timekeeper, I gotta, I gotta tell you. So we want to hit a shop early, just real quick. We definitely want to hit as many elites as possible. Oh my god, this is... Well, okay, I was gonna say that this is too easy, and in, in many ways it is, but on the other hand, we didn't have quite enough energy. A fight with three enemies is, is the only thing right now that, that can stop me from reaching my true power. Oh, you're lucky, dude. And I'm looking at the clock and I'm like, no, no. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. You're on 12, you're on six. Let's do this then. I think we should just ice you. Hopefully we can take you out next turn. I mean, you can see for yourself when we, when we go longer. Like it's, it does make life a lot harder. 
Like, it's taken us a while here. <laughs> we really need to get to six energy. So double tap this one. That's a big one for us. And then... Might as well body slam you. Come on, just let me get you next to it. This is harder than the boss we just faced, dude. Please. I just need... Some attacks, thank you. So, things we already have. Always things we already have, okay. Now, this is a big one. Uh, yes. Yes. Sure, why not? Yes, 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 yes. Still got enough money to buy, like, another relic. Add three colorless cards, obviously. Um, I don't think we need any more Mind Blast. I think that's a problem. Um, we'll add some trips. I should have added Secret Weapon, actually. It was very dumb to not add Secret Weapon, because we can use Secret Weapon to draw the Mind Blast. Go ahead, smack me in the face. So we need to take the center path up here. Fair enough. What, what do we got here, dude? Too many enemies. Had to be done. Luckily, wait, who's... I didn't even look at the boss. The boss is Timekeeper? This is like the first time, perhaps, in my entire life... ...that I've actually been stoked to fight Timekeeper. If there were multiple enemies, we would actually have, like, real problems. Because there's not, we don't. More body slams. More flame barriers. Um... Honestly, I think we should take the curses. I know that seems basically the stupidest thing you could ever hear, but uh, it really doesn't matter. We'd rather have more innate curses because our first turn, we already know what we're doing anyway, you know? So I think that's, that's a big point gain for us, believe it or not. And really, like, we're doing the best thing that we can do to put more points into this run. Which is... Or to, put, to do better on this run, we're doing the best thing possible. As ridiculous as it sounds, um, the best thing possible for us is just putting more bad cards in our deck. <laughs> that way we do more damage on turn one. How dare you. How, how dare you, dude. How dare you do this to me. One extra energy and, and everything dies. Otherwise, we actually do find ourselves in a, in a pretty spicy situation, but corruption here helps out a lot. Or does it? I, I honestly think we might miss the speed demon option, which is uh, truly devastating for me. I said that without a hint of sarcasm, but I, I meant it too, believe it or not. Oh my god, what happened? We got like 10 Havocs? It's like you're playing Apex Legends. Okay. Oh, you... This will really illustrate how boss choice really uh, makes a huge difference on the run. We fight a single enemy, they're all dead. If we fight three enemies... We've actually got a real problem on our hands. <laughs> what would win? One big Time Lord or, or three uh, dinky uh, regular enemies? The answer may surprise you. All right, rest up. We probably won't win on turn one. Unless we draw some vulnerability, which obviously is not likely. And in fact, we're not even going to perfect. Please, God, tell me I can do 26 damage to this guy on turn two. I think we got it. Pretty, pretty comfortable. Oh, God, don't. That was the one thing you couldn't exhaust. <laughs> that was the only thing you couldn't exhaust. And yet, here we are. How many? We got three cards. I can't play three cards, dude. Let's just... Let's we'll do it like that. It, to die here would actually, from an entertainment standpoint, be so hilarious that I wouldn't even be mad. 
I would, I would consider it the greatest honor to die in service of entertainment. I just, I just need to get to, thank you, one, one of my, just gonna sneak right by you here. At least you're not killing me. <laughs> it's, it's surprisingly close. Oh no, 29 damage. We only get to play one more card! Dude, we're gonna die! It has been my honor, friends, serving you in the line of duty. We still got a 1500 point score, which is hilarious. Um, I don't really know how to feel about today's daily, but it's very interesting. There's no doubt about that. For now, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Certainly the weirdest. Go check out Malv and Dan's perspectives. It's a very strange one. Anything could happen today. For now, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Click the like button, and I'll see you with whatever's next on Golden Goblet. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.